I can't help notice that your wicker basket is not marked as stealing. Neither is your leather or your stone knife. Huh. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more medieval dynasty. I'm up in the hills outside the old Dave homestead here, looking for rocks and sticks. I have a specific thing that I'd like to do, or more importantly, a specific thing that I'd like to craft. Someone in the comments section was telling me, hey, give up on the money stick idea. Ooh, new level in survival. Get into crafting knives. Knives are a great ratio of materials to what you're going to get paid for them. So we're going to see if we can craft a whole bunch of knives. I've got kind of a plan. I've got a thing that I'd like to do today. I'd like to get going on the quest. Let me go to my journal here. The quest for Unigost here about going and talking to Sambor. Now, he's way up in the north here somewhere. Uh, yeah, we're down in Gostovia. He's way up here somewhere. Is this him right here? It's one of these two guys, and I'm not sure which is which, but somewhere up in the north here is where he's hanging out. I guess one is a quest objective and one is potentially a new quest. Anyway, putting that aside, he's up here. I'd like to go up there. I'd like to get some money first, and I'd like to look at maybe buying some technology before we get up there. I've also been told, in answer to my question, that there's sort of a secret water skin I can grab up here on the way to this guy before I learn to craft my own. So that's all good stuff. That's the basic plan, but I've got some things to do before that, not the least of which is spending a skill point in survival that I just got up here. So let's go for, I don't know, take one in. Well, I can get up to the second tier now. Strong as an oak is 10% more health. That's not a terrible idea. I don't hate that idea. And then survival sense is, oh yeah, my magic mushroom sensing power. Eh, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to find feathers. Those are probably handy for something. I bet those are used for arrows. That's kind of what I want to look at, is better weapons rather than just the spear. I'm going to take that and see what happens, just basically see what happens. I also wanted to look at my management screen, because right here is my build limit, which I was a little curious about. I didn't know how to immediately find that out without just trying to build things and then being told no. So right now, I have a build limit of five out of eight. I can build a maximum of eight buildings Right now, I've got five up. Dynasty rep at 91. And this is something I'm going to have to think of, too. Taxes. I owe money to, I assume, Unigost. He's kind of like the mayor of that town. I assume I owe money to him. I don't know whom else I would give it to, but I owe 70. 70 is not that hard to come up with. We, we can handle 70. That's actually not that big a deal. I can get that in money sticks alone. I've also noticed somewhere around here, where did it go? I saw it while I was kind of puttering around getting rocks out of the ground. Anyway, there's some clay over here somewhere. I've got a clay pit right next to the old Dave homestead here. I can't immediately put my finger on it, but it's definitely here somewhere. I stumbled across it while I was picking up rocks. I need a shovel for that. And there's some mineable rock over there. Long story short, I've got a lot to do in Medieval Dynasty. My only hiccup with all of this, my only speed bump, is that winter is coming very, very soon. Like, basically tomorrow. So we're going to have to think, do I want to go on a long journey in the middle of winter? I mean, long. It's, it's basically up the street, Dave. But long in the sense of, you know, I'm going to have to pack food and make sure I have enough water and yada, yada, yada. Speaking of which, how is my food and water? Uh, water is okay. Food could be ticked up a little bit. Let me have some of my fantastic stew that I've been making lately. We'll have a little bit of that. And then, theoretically, how many how many knives could I craft? Get me oh, three. Okay, I need more rocks. That's what I need. Yeah, it's two rocks per knife. And rocks are in an alarmingly short supply. That's a mushroom, not a rock. Rocks are um, actually not that common. I saw there was an update where the developer deliberately put in more rocks because I guess people were complaining there's just, you know, for an open medieval field, there's really not that many stones lying around, which is a little odd. I might want to see even a little more, uh, just a few more 
Any any rocks anywhere at all? No, not a, not a single rock. Oh, I've got a log here that I left for no readily explicable, explicable reason. Let me go sell off all my stuff and see where I'm at. Oh, you know what? While I'm in town, though, I've kind of got a little thing going along with Ludgarda here. She's 2% affectionate to me. Could we tick that up a little bit? How have you been? Okay, zero on that. Uh, no no loss, though. No loss. Um, let's try a quick flirt. Uh, let's not ask her to marry us right now. You seem very fit. You look strong like a boar. I can't imagine she's going to be particularly chuffed with that. Uh, I'm quite strong. It works like a charm on ladies. No, that one's worse. Actually, that one's worse. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to reluctantly say she looks strong like a boar. Oh, affection plus five. Oh, yeah, we're 7% affectionate now. I think we're almost up to peck on the cheek level. Could I, could I try that again? What an amazing dress you have. And we should go out and have lunch by the river. I'm going to, yeah, that actually does sound really nice. It is very pretty out by the river. How about that? Plus 10. Oh, heck, now we're getting somewhere with you. Oh, okay, now she's off. Now she's like, okay, chill, dude. Just back off. Just just leave me alone for a little while. I'm not going to ask her to join the settlement right now because I'd like to actually see if we can put down another house before we do that. I think that might be something that we need to attract people like, hey, you actually have somewhere to live. I don't know that for a fact, but that seems kind of sensible. I really just need any vendor at this point to buy my knives. Yeah, the bartender. That'll do. Perfectly good. Yeah, just uh, show me what you got. I don't really care what you've got because I'm going to just sell you some things, really. So you can have, oh uh, yeah, well, first of all, you can have 90 sticks. That's going to be some money right there. There's my taxes paid for, for a start. And where did those knives go that I just made? There they are. Three stone knives. You can have this. And what are those, uh, what are those actually selling for there? Oh, not as much as I might like. Okay. I mean, it's good, but it's not great. Maybe if I bump up my diplomacy or something, I might get some skills that'll enable me to uh, get better prices out of people. That seems like something that would probably happen. Okay, with those sold, I need to go back to the old Dave Homestead. I'm going to keep an eye out for rocks on the way. Oh, Ludgarda. Ludgarda, you and I, we, we got a thing, Ludgarda. Back at the old Dave Homestead, not a rock to be found anywhere on the way, but I did grab a bunch of sticks. Now, the crafting bench. I can't really do a lot with this because I don't have the necessary technology. And the technology thing has always kind of stymied me a little bit. I'm not really 100% clear on how it works. But let's have a look. Technology. What can I do here? I could. Now, the 50 is my money, right? It's not a technology point. No, that's definitely 234 money. So I feel I can just flat out buy a shovel for 50 money. And I've got 234. I'd like a shovel, because then I could go investigate that whole clay pit thing. But I'd really like to focus on weaponry. That would be great. So, like, the bow. Could I buy the bow? Not enough technology. Okay. Okay, I'm not really... I'm not getting how that works. I guess the green bar has to be further down or something? I'm not. I'm not really understanding that. Yeah, I guess so, because this is fully completed. So I've completed the, the green bar on resource storage one, and that would enable me to get a shovel, which is great. I certainly would like to have a shovel. Have I finished this with anything else? Yes. Actually, I have. I could get a stack of wooden bolts, which does me absolutely no good because I don't have anything to throw the bolts with. I'm really shooting for bow. That's my goal. And anything in farming? Uh, yes, but nothing to actually activate. Okay, is there anything in barn too? Oh, I can get flour. Okay, what's uh, down hen house? Animal feed and a cudgel. Okay, good with the cudgel. Yes, for the stunning pigs. A daub. And then, oh, wow, there's, oh, this just keeps going. Oh, all right. I didn't, I didn't realize it went this far down. Okay, so long story short, the best I can do is a shovel. Great. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? I've got a shovel now. Or at least at bare minimum, I know how to make a shovel. So, Back me out of all of that. Back me out of everything. Can I now create a shovel? Uh, probably. Stone tools? Is that where that lives? Where Where would I be if I were a shovel? Is that 
wooden tools. Uh, spears? No. There we go. No, that's a hoe. All right, where does shovel live? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I just need a couple of logs. That's fine. I think I've actually got logs in my house, and if I don't, I've got them over in my wood storage. I just threw a log or two down in here somewhere. I know I just put it in there. I, I feel very calm. All right, fine. I'll go to wood storage where the wood lives. I was only going to make the one, but then I'm thinking to myself, why not make some extras to sell? That's not a terrible idea. I'm going up by a couple of villages anyway. I may as well do that. I've got a bunch of logs. So I'm going to make one for myself for no readily explicable reason. I might just hit people with it. Or more importantly, foxes or boars. That might be a good idea. What I really need to focus on right now is my survival skill. That's what's got to be key right now, because that's what's going to get me to that hunting lodge thing. So go to the old inventory here. How's my... Ooh, my carry capacity is a little high. Going to want to sell off those shovels as soon as possible. And maybe, yeah, the sticks as well. All right, it's all going to be fine. We're heading north. Okay, only a minor change of plans in that, and that I had to leave a couple of the shovels behind because I wanted to make sure I packed enough spears for the trip. So, little weight trade off there. I've got a few spears on me, a couple of shovels back home. I'm actually just going to try and unload these shovels at this next village. Where do I really need to be going here. Actually, not sure who's who. You know what? Here's how we're going to mark this. Uh, Unigost. Yeah, let's um, make sure we track this quest and then go back to my map. Can I now tell which one of you is which? No. No. How about we did, oh, I don't know, questing of some sort? No. You know what? It's all fine. It's all going to work out just fine. We're going up there one way or the other, and we've been kind of up in this neighborhood before. I know there are boars up here. I prefer to have a better weapon when I'm dealing with aggressive animals than a pointy stick, but, you know, here we are. Ah, uh, you. I believe you're a vendor. I'm pretty sure you're a vendor. Are you a vendor? You absolutely are. Would you like to buy a couple of shovels that I have kicking around here somewhere, anywhere? Where did I put those shovels? I know, I... I Totally, totally packed them. There they are. Wooden shovels. You can have two of those. Now, it looks like Sambor here is 400 some odd meters this way. I don't see any signs of any aggressive animals yet, but I know confidently that boars are up in this area. I've dodged them before. So we're going to keep an eye out on that. I possibly should have waited until spring to make this journey, because it's it's going to be A, dark soon, and B, winter in a few hours. And I can only imagine I'm going to get very cold. I don't have... Yeah, there, there's the sun crashing to the ground. Oh, great. Now I'm going through a dark forest that probably has wild pigs that want to eat my face off, and I've got a pointy stick. So just messing around with inspector mode here. What's going on? Here. Oh, it's St. John's Wart. Okay. I thought those might have been feathers, and I got very, very excited about that. But no, no. Just St. John's Wart, which is good. That's a perfectly acceptable thing for it to be. I just was hoping for feathers for no reason other than I don't know what I do with them. It's got to be for... It's got to be for arrows, right? I mean, that's, that's what people... Would, ah, 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 ah. Thing. Wolf. Wolf. Okay. Can I get, like, a, a headshot on you? Not even a little bit. No, I'm too far away. Too far away. Okay. Uh, oh, oh my god, I did. Oh my god, I did. I just put that right through your eye. I'm so sorry. I'm Under normal circumstances, I'm sure we'd be best of friends, but wow, that's the one of the best shots I've done in gaming, period. Never mind in Medieval Dynasty. Okay, um, Zambor. I may have better luck with your wolf issue than I previously expected to. All right, good news, Sambor. There was a uh, wolf outside your door, and I totally dealt with it. Somewhat by accident, but totally dealt with it. Sambor, what do you got for me? Hi, I'm Rasimir, Lorden's nephew. That should probably be capitalized. Heard you have concerns regarding the wolf. Put your concerns aside, Sambor. Put your concerns aside. I'm Rasimir, friend of the Castellan. I'm going to go with... Choice A here. You have concerns regarding the wolf. 
A uh, great man, if it's a shame that we lost him. If you're only half the man he was, you might be worth my time. About the wolves. Two packs that have grown too big too fast. Okay. One has crossed the plains between Hornica and Gostovia, and um, they'll be biting Unigost. Oh, you don't like Unigost at all. Dear. The other one is gathering around the lake in the south. Okay, do we, um, do we need to go deal with this? Shall we kill them? Killing a pack, you'd need a large hunting party. And even then, we'd lose a lot of good men. No. Okay, so we need to alert the villagers. Oh, that's way better than hunting wolves. Oh, I'll like you already. Oh, um, Sambor, I can't help notice that your wicker basket is not marked as stealing. Neither is your leather or your stone knife. Huh. What what else you got going on in your house, Sambor? Any uh any neat things in here that aren't marked as the ah, that's stealing. That's stealing. But again, Sambor, this wicker basket. Uh oh, it's St. John's Wort. And the basket. Okay, this is technically not stealing, Sambor. Uh this is uh, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm walking away with your stuff. So now I just gotta go back and tell Unigost about this, which is totally fine. I was just kind of keeping half an eye out in the dark, mind you, for the sort of mystery water skin that you can bumble across. I was told in the comments section there's like a broken down cart on the way to Sambor, and there's a, a water skin you can just grab there. Of course, it's pitch black now. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? It's going to be winter tomorrow, and I know that. I am going to put down a campfire uh, that I don't have enough sticks for, but I can very, very soon. I'm going to sleep through the night. Um, okay. Several things. First of all, winter is gorgeous in this game. This is very, very nice looking. Two, I fell asleep outside Sambor's house. I fast traveled back to the old Dave homestead when I woke up. I didn't know that was a thing. I guess I've never really slept at a campfire outside of this area, but... Yeah, I, um, I totally just fast-traveled right back here. And I'm cold. Uh, that's the third thing, but I can cope with that. Wow, the old Dave Homestead is very nice at this time of year. Very, very nice at this time of year. I like this. Um, I'm going to go talk to Unigos because I'm right here. That was easy. Oh, temperature. Yes, it, it's cold. We'd, we'd kind of covered that game. I'm hoping to learn to make clothes in the upcoming new year. All right, Unigos, wolves are coming. Wolves are coming. Yeah, he's a loner lurking in the woods. He really doesn't like you, by the way. He knows the game around here. He believes both Gostovia and Danica will have to face wolf attacks soon. Here's my first reward. Oh, a fur hood and fur boots. Good timing there, Unigost. Courtesy of our last tax collection, which I'm pretty sure I just paid. I saw something flash up in the corner there, the, uh, something about money. Anyway, what are you going to do, Unigost? You're going to take care of the defenses here. I need to make sure Denica is prepared. Go to Denica and tell them about things. Okay, right. That's probably fairly easy to do. Did I get any dynasty points for that, maybe? No? Okay, and Denica's up in the other direction. Denica's up whatever that is to the south, really. Let me check out my uh, my new duds here. So where's uh, Fur Hood? I would like to equip that. Yeah. And fur boots, I would definitely like to equip that. Wait, was I walking around barefoot this whole time? I really didn't have shoes on this entire time. That's terrible. Okay, well, that should help with the whole cold defense thing. 10% heat, or minus 10% heat protection, so it's going to make me warmer in the summer, no surprise. But plus 35 cold protection, and I've got the hat as well. Oh, Ludgarda. Hi. Hi, I would like to tell you something, beautiful lady. How have you been lately? I hope you're doing well. Okay, if you need anything, just ask me. You know, having a lot of money like I do makes life a lot easier. <laughs> wow, what a complete shag-off thing to say. Uh, how have you been? How have you been? Oh, that was only affection plus zero. Really? Really? Okay, are you... Are you into money? Is that like a thing you're in? You look as beautiful as that blue sky today. Affection plus two. Okay. Wow. Up to 19% with you. Do you want to get flirted with again? You will. You will. She actually liked the strong like a boar thing the last time, but I don't want to push my luck with that. I admire your dedication to your work. Plus two. Okay. Call it a day. 
made some good progress there. Good progress with Ludgarda. I have a plan. I would like to finally get around to building another house. This is what I want to do. I want to see if we can actually attract anyone to the old Dave homestead. So I'm going to spend a little time chopping down some materials and all of that stuff, and then we'll figure it out from there. Yeah, I've definitely got enough to put up a simple house. I, I don't know this for a fact, but I just feel this is how we're going to attract people to the old Dave homestead here. I really should have thought about my location more when I was picking out where to build the old Dave homestead, because it's not actually that much level terrain around here. There's a spot. How far away is that from everything else? Eh, it's okay. It's near the woodshed thing. So put that up there, and then obviously I'm going to need a ton more materials to get that going. So let's get it going on here. Chop down some more trees, deforest the area, pick up all the sticks, go to the river, get the straw, it's all going to be fine. I think I've got just enough to finish off the roof here. Took a little while to gather all the materials, no surprise there. Let's see if I can just get this done. I think that's a solid yes on that. Okay, small house is, is complete, right? Oh, no, I missed a bit. I missed a bit up there. I always miss that bit. Oh, I'm out of logs again, and I've got a bit over there. Okay, we're almost there. I'll be right back. I just gotta cut down another tree. There we go. Okay, simple house completed. Done. I was actually just checking my inventory. I seem to have the same amount of money. I feel I should be paying my taxes soon. I don't know when tax season is in Medieval Dynasty, but I would figure it's the end of the year. That would be somewhat sensible. I don't love the fact that the other house is so far away from my first house. But I'm kind of willing to cope with it. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go see if anyone wants to join my town. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go see if anyone wants to join my town. They were all saying Dynasty Rep of 50. Well my Dynasty Rep is like 91 right now. And if I happen to be able to chat up my lady friend there while I'm here, so much the better. Now obviously the first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can find a resident whose name I can pronounce. Bolabor. I can totally say your name, Bolabor. Would you be at all interested? In joining my town. Uh, you, nice weather. Nice weather. How about nice weather? Approval plus five. Alright, you already like me a lot. You should build a snowman. Okay, is that a thing we can do? Uh, do you have a minute? I've been working almost non-stop. My hard work will pay off. I did just build a house. Ah, oh, you hated that. Okay, Bolabor, despite the fact that I can pronounce your name, I'm gonna go talk to, well, basically anyone else who might be interested in joining my little community. Nadbor! Do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you about moving. Uh, it's the noble and the hard work options, plus zero on that. Okay, do you have a minute? Do you have any tips about hunting? Plus five on hunting. Okay, nice weather? Minus five on the weather. Okay, we're out of here. I need to find some- oh, oh, hi, Ostrobot. Yeah, um, you seem super keen. And you've got the most amazing floppy hat on. This is possibly... Where do I get this hat? How do I learn how to craft floppy hat? Because I really want floppy hat. Okay, I'm down to Prismir here again, whose name I'm not particularly fond of, but he's the only one who wants to talk about joining my settlement. Okay, you came to this land recently and you don't know anyone here. Why don't you come to my land? I'm creating a new settlement. You don't know me well enough. Okay, you just need a little more approval. Right, so it's a combo of approval... And, okay, plus zero on that. And Dynasty Rep. Do you want to talk about hard work? No. Okay. Do you want to talk about working in the field? You actually don't care about anything. You're plus zero on literally everything. I'm going to keep going. Somebody around here. Actually, I know somebody around here who likes me. There was the guy with... I think the guy with the scythe issue liked me. But I'll talk to you while you're here. Now, absolutely no dice with anyone at all in town. Nobody likes me enough to join my settlement, or they're not interested in joining a settlement. Just for giggles, I'm going to go across the river. I'm going to see if I can convince any of those people to join my little community here. I did sell off another knife and some more sticks while I was in town, so I've got a little bit more money than I did before I got there, but... 
just for fun. Just for fun. Does anyone over here feel interested in joining a burgeoning community over in Dave's homestead? Now, nothing going over there either. They're just not interested. And more to the point, they just don't like me enough yet. I'm going to have to keep hitting people every day and really just keep boosting my rep as often as they're willing to talk to me. Because I feel I've got all the other right ingredients. I've got my dynasty rep up. I've got an extra house, if that's going to be what stops people from moving in. I've got that covered. It's a place for them to live. They just need to like me. A little tiny bit more, but dang, the Dave Homestead is coming along nicely. It's very good looking in winter. I should get that shovel and get all those stumps out of there. I understand from an update that you can't um, bare hand the stumps out. You actually need a shovel to do that, but that is probably an excellent place to call it on Medieval Dynasty for today. The town keeps growing. The old Dave homestead keeps growing. Now, new project is getting people to be into what I'm doing over here. So they're going to want to come and hang out and live here. That's what we'll try and work on next time. I see that breakfast has arrived. So I'm going to grab breakfast or dinner at this point and then retire for the evening. We'll do some more of this again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.